Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I feel we're on the cusp of it. Here we go for 50 million fan. Mark Cucurella passes the eye test. A desired player by many. Of course, Man City were in for the wing back of Brighton, but they didn't want to spend over 40 million Ps. But the new ownership at Chelsea with big boy Bowley will as we seriously need defensive reinforcements. Welcome back to Football Therapy and to Chelsea News, the daily series here, of course, where I reflect on what's being said about Chelsea, giving my thoughts on it. More importantly, asking for yours, mate. That's right. Yes, you. We're going to be talking about Cucurella today and some other transfer stuff. Settle in, get comfortable. Thank you for dropping a like on the video. It really does support the content creator. And that's nice. Click of a button. You're welcome to subscribe should you choose to do so. Hit there. Sweet, sweet, bell, baby. Yeah, let's look. English. This video is brought to you by One Football. Um... Right, that was the button I wanted to press. This video is brought to you by One Football, and they're doing a wicked giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. A prediction giveaway for the weekend, and if you win, you have the chance to win a jersey of your choice, a football shirt. A copy of FIFA 23. Exciting times. Uh, this is my prediction. I've got Palace and Arsenal to draw. I know Arsenal are good in preseason, but I can see this happening at Sel like Selhurst. Liverpool to beat for them. Chelsea to finally get a win at Goodison Park, I believe. Man United always draw with Brighton or lose. And of course, City to beat West Ham. Click the link down in the description now to go and do your predictions have a, to have a chance to win. Check out One Football. Click the link. Lovely stuff. And we're back in the studio. Yeah. Look, man, let's just read you this. Fabrizio Romano tweeting, Full agreement! <clears throat> Full agreement. Now reached between Chelsea and Cucarera on personal terms. Potential contract has been uh, proposed... Uh, pr 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 I'll start that again. Potential contract has been proposal approved. Has been proposal approved. Now, that doesn't sound like English, but that's what's written by Fabrizio Romano, so I'm glad it has been proposal approved. Mark's prepared to accept once clubs agree on fee. Chelsea and Brian are in direct talks again today to complete the deal. I expect to here we go today, personally. That's what I just, just what I feel. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. Mark Cucurello is expected to join Chelsea in a £50 million deals. Says Craig Hope of the Daily Mail. What does this mean? Cucurella, wing back, left centre back, precisely what we need. Is he going to come to Chelsea to play in the left centre back role? And then, you know, perhaps Koulibaly will move over on the right a little bit, or he'll be the long term successor to Thiago Silva down the middle. I could see, um, you know, rotating the middle position between Thiago Silva and Kalido Koulibaly. That's an elite rotational option for down the middle in a back three. Um, of course, we played a right footer on the left, you know, last couple of years with Antonio Rudiger. We could absolutely do the same with Kalido Koulibaly. And, of course, Mark Cucurella has passed the eye test and impressed massively as a offensive wing back playing for Brighton. I don't think his stats were insane, but in terms of what he looked like, he could do his dynamism. He just looks very appropriate for a left wing back system. He played really well against us in the left centre back role in the Premier League. Very, very good. This is precisely what Thomas Tuchel will want. If Mark Cucurella joins Chelsea, Marcus Alonso is expected to be allowed to leave to Barcelona. A hugely positive upgrade, not to disrespect Alonso, he had important moments playing for Chelsea Football Club. He had important moments, but this is more dynamic, more of an appropriate profile. And like we said, the aforementioned reason how we can play in left centre-back as well. If we get a Denzel Dumfries as well, it's more cover. It's we Last season, people are criticising these targets like, oh, but we've got Chilwell and James. Why are we spending loads on those areas? Because last season we were gagging for, you know, just backup or challenges in that position and not Alonso and Azpilicueta, you know, Span Spaniards in their 30s who have lost their... The, the, the small amount of pace they had in the first place. No, we need dynamism. And it's not just about backing up Reese James and Ben Chilwell, who could, you know, both get injured or, dare I say it, drop form. It's about their decent backup that pushed them. Dynamic, good players in the same position as them that's going to elevate their own level. They might sound like, oh, but they don't want that, that pressure and, you know, that competition. But it will make them play better. It will make Chelsea play better. And it will make Chelsea most likely win more trophies. 
it's important. And it's not, like I said, with Cucurella, it's not just the fact how he can play left wing, but he can play left centre back as well. Plus, Chelsea play in loads of competitions. There's five substitutes. I'm very excited. Let me know what you think about Mark Cucurella down in the comments section below. So, Gabriel Slanina, the goalkeeper, has signed a 6 6 year deal with Chelsea and has completed his medicals in London yesterday. The 18 year old was uh, signed for 15 million euros, which is about 12 point, 12 and a half million pounds. Remember he was wanted by like uh, a lot of big clubs as well. So it's a good acquisition for Chelsea. We're loaning him back to Chicago Fire to complete the MLS season. I believe he'll join Chelsea in January. Which is good, which is great. Um, he's 18, but he's been training with Chicago Fire since he was like 15. I saw Alex Goldberg um, post on social media a video clip from his uh, podcast confirming that. Uh, Six-year contract, which takes him to 24 years old. That's really protecting an investment of a young goalkeeper. Of course, we signed um, Kepari Topolaga on a seven-year deal. Whether Slanina will have the opportunity to become second goalkeeper at Chelsea or, you know, with the view to make him eventually the uh, the first choice, um, you know, it's getting another American in as well, like with the American ownership. I'm pretty sure he's American. Um, you know, that's, that's yeah, he's American. So that's a really positive move, sort of marketing, branding. I think this is a good move. I'm quite excited. If he's good, like he's meant, he's meant to be a big, big boy. And if he's a good goalkeeper then I'm all for it. And who knows, maybe he can become the second choice and then eventually push Edouard Mendy for that number one shirt, considering Mendy's in his 30s and this kid's only 18. Right, so Wesley Fofana, big, big, big target for Chelsea. Absolutely elite player. One of the des like desired young centre-backs in European football, of course, only 21. Came back from a horrific leg break, but seems to be rehabilitating totally fine. And yeah, he's a desired asset for any big club. Nathan Gissing, or yeah, I think it's pronounced Gissing, um, works with Demarcio and runs the Chelsea news Instagram page, talks about how Chelsea, of course, are in conversations with Leicester to sign the player. Uh, Chelsea are considering trying to add Ruben Loftus-Cheek into the deal, uh, and Leicester City are reportedly have been interested in Ruben for a while, looking at him, which is interesting, personally, as things stand. I don't think Thomas Tuchel would be that interested in losing Ruben Loftus-Cheek. He's used him in so many different positions. He had 40 appearances last season. That's a lot. Granted, a lot with substitutions, but still, that's like an asset that you want to utilize. Um, he does look good at right wing back, deputizing behind Reese James. So you think maybe if we, you know, sell Alonso, get Cucurella in, and then you've got Chilwell and Cucurella on the left, you could think maybe Reese James and Loftus Cheek on the right. Loftus Cheek being a rotational option. I think possibly that could work, especially if he develops in that role. I mean, he looks big and strong and has elements that would make his wingback play unique. Um, maybe it echoes kind of a Victor Moses, you know, under T Antonio Conte at Chelsea. That would be really interesting. But I think perhaps if you said to him, to Tuchel, that is, right, well, you know, we can get Loftus-Cheek involved in this deal. We will go to Leicester uh, and then we'll get you Denzel Dumfries. He'll probably be like, well, that's a proper right wing back to be rotation. And then you get Cucurella and Dumfries to back up Chilwell and Reese James and you're laughing. To be honest, Thomas Tuchel might have sat down with the Chelsea ownership and been like, look, Todd, man, look at the body of work, my body of work uh, at Chelsea. Look how important the wing backs are. Look how good we were. What, top of the league, game week 14, the wing backs get injured. We struggle. We get, we enter a top four race by the end of the season. That's how important they are. If you give me dynamic options, so we're secure there, we can challenge as a unique side in the you know in the top three race because uh, the other sides obviously use that sort of conventional four three three formation. Maybe that's what they're thinking. Now, of course, Todd Bowley, he's seemingly really trying to implement player trades. He really wants to bring that into the European soccer sport. Of course, his trade is massive in American sports. It doesn't really ever happen in football, in European football. But teams just end up doing individual deals and negotiations with cash for players. Uh, and I think that's just... I don't know if that... I mean, if, the, if he somehow does manage to implement player trades into... Uh, 
into his business and fair play, but we'll see what happens. Personally, I would like to keep Loftus-Cheek um, as a rotational player, at least for another year to see if he can make it. But I understand if it, you know, if if he has to go. I think he wants to play for Chelsea as well. Let me know what you think down below. I think we all want Wesley Fofana. We're keeping a tab on that, of course, as soon as the story develops. I'll keep you posted, so make sure you keep it locked. But let me know in the comments if you would be willing to let Ruben Loftus-Cheek go the other way. Right, so of course we've got a lot more stuff to get through. Well, well, I'll probably do it on the next video, but there's things like Michi Bashwai that Chelsea were hoping to flog to Everton. To I don't know how much of a close admiration Frank Lampard had for Bashwai when he was at Chelsea, but uh, at Sir Philip Sports saying, tweeting, according to Simon Jones of the Daily Mail, Everton are not pursuing a move for Chelsea striker Michy Batshuayi. The Toffees have reportedly opted against pursuing the Belgian international this summer. Now, we are relying on Frank a little bit to take some players. Come on, Frank Lampard, mate, take someone. We're hoping he takes Ross Barkley. And yes, Frank Lampard did like Ross Barkley, you know, quite a lot. He did utilize him and play him quite a lot. And he probably would be a good player for Everton to return. Barkley probably recognizes that there's an opportunity there to play under Frank again to quite a big name. His move to Chelsea wouldn't have gone as he wanted. He did play some games, you know, he did win a couple of trophies, kind of, and, and was a bit involved. Involved, you know, and that would he would have had a better time at Chelsea than at Everton in terms of, you know, flying around in the Champions League squads, you know, being involved in some camp, you know, campaign winning trophies, campaign winning trophies, you know what I mean, trophy winning campaigns. So therefore, he probably was happy. Chelsea will get their money back on him easily, and they probably won't reflect negatively on Ross Barkley as a acquisition because he cost fifteen million pounds, and they did play him quite a lot. And he was, you know, in the England squad at some points as well while playing for Chelsea. So ultimately, you can't reflect negatively on that. Hopefully, Lampard takes him. He'll be looking at the likes of Billy Gilmore and stuff like that as well. He'll want Conor Gallagher, but he won't get him, etc., etc., etc. So that's really interesting. I, uh, I, we do need to get rid of more players. You do think if we do get two wingbacks in... Both as Piliqueta and Alonso will be allowed to depart for Barcelona. There's still other things to consider. There's, you know, youngsters like Bruyer and Colwell. Will Colwell be sold? Will he be sold with a buyback clause? Will he just be loaned down? Many things to talk about and many things to consider. There'll be lots of movement this week, so make sure you do keep it locked to this channel, Football Therapy, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. Please do drop a like. It means a lot, and uh, keep it locked because... Stuff's gonna happen. Peace.